Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah to the most high God. Hallelujah to the King of Kings. Hallelujah to the Lord of Lords. We worship you, Lord Jesus. Hosanna in the highest. Can you just join me this morning? Hallelujah. And begin to bless the name of the Lord. I want to welcome you to this new month, the month of August. Hallelujah. We made it to the month of August. The devil could not kill you. The devil could not take my life. The honor of our life was preserving our life. The Bible says, he that watches over you, over me, does not slumber, nor sleep. God has proven himself again in your life, in my life to be mighty. He has proven himself in your life, in my life, that he is the owner of our life. Can you just open your mouth again? Even this morning, as to begin to bless him, I want you to join me this morning. I'm not taking your time. We're just going to be here for 20 or 30 minutes, but I want you to be intentional this morning as you just lift your hand up wherever you have this morning and just begin to bless God. I want you to give him praise. I want you to give him praise. I want you to give him praise. Hallelujah. I want you to give him all the glory. Hey, Father, we bow down this morning. Jehovah, we bow down. Jehovah, we bow down. One of our life, we bow down. We worship you. We say you are a great God. We say you are a good God. We say, oh God, you are worthy. The psalmist says, I will bless the Lord at all times and his praise shall continually be in my mouth. I don't know about you this morning, but I know that God has been faithful. I know that God has been good to you. You cannot tell me that he has not been good. If you can hear me, if you are sitting in your home, if you are not on the, on the hospital bed, if you are not on the wheelchair, I know that God has been good to you. I know that God has been faithful to you. I want you to to join me this morning and just open your mouth and say, Lord, thank you. I want you to say, Lord, thank you. Thank you because you are the owner of my life. Thank you because what the enemy meant for my life, you did not permit it to happen. I want you to tell him, Jehovah, oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. I worship you, Lord. I worship you, Lord. I worship you, Lord, this morning. You are mighty, Lord. You are the owner of my life. Oh, blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Oh, Lord, I worship you, Lord. I worship you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Omnipotent Father, I bless your name. King of glory, I worship you. Oh, Lord, you are worthy. The honor of my life. The honor of my life. The reason that I live. The reason that I move. The reason that I have my being. The all-sufficient God. The supremacy of the heart. Can you just bless him? The Bible says he's the one that sits upon the tree. He made this out to be his host to them. Can you bless him this morning? I just want you to be intentional about blessing the name. You are fortunate to be here. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God that you are not be silent. Thank God that you are here. Thank God that he loved you. Thank him because uh, he has your name uh, and the palm of his hand. Uh, can you thank him? Uh, he knows your family. He loves your family. He kept your children. You are not a widow. You are not a widower. You are not money over your children. The God that we serve did not allow the enemy's counsel to come to pass. He frustrated their devices for the past seven months. Oh, you might be, they might be struggling. You might be saying, I am not where I want to be. But you are where God wants you to be. And in this level, in this season, in this time, can you open your mouth? This is the month of I'm taking it over. In Domino Power Ministry, I want you to thank God because you are taking over this month because you are taking over even your territory this month because you are taking over even that position because you are taking over even your promises of God over your life in this month I want you to say Lord thank you because it's a month of a new beginning it's a month of taking over my possessions in the name of Jesus I want you to pray this morning and say Lord thank you oh thank you for my life you have to thank God 
The Bible says in everything we should give thanks. In everything we should give thanks. Can you go ahead and give him thanks? It will be for asking him or anything. It will be for speaking to him. I want you to open your mouth and just say, Lord, thank you. Oh, I am grateful. I am grateful even for what you have done. I am grateful even for my life. I am grateful for I'm grateful. I could not have asked for anything better because you have been go to me. I have passed through the waters. Oh, I was not drowned. Oh, they throw a lot of things at me. I am still standing because God is our guarantor. Because your guarantor never leave you. The one that's paid a ransom over your life. Never allow the enemy to have the final say. I want you to give him praise. I want you to give him praise. I want you to worship him. I want you to say beautiful names, even to the God of God, the one that all the idols are bowing down for. Can you just say good things to him this morning? Oh, the one that allowed you to leave your house and go out and come back without any incident or accident. Can you just thank him this morning? Can you bless him this morning? It is worthy of your praises. It is worthy of all the honors. It is worthy. <laughs> there is no one like unto him. I don't know the name to use to quantify this God. It does not matter how much you know God. You cannot know God better than God because he has been God before you were created. That is why you want to call him the El Shaddai this morning. You want to call him the Jehovah Rapha this morning. You want to say you are my Shalom this morning. You want to tell him that he's the Elohim this morning. You want to tell him that he's your Lord this morning. You want to tell him that he's the lover of my I saw this morning. You want to tell him, Lord, in you I live, I move, and I have my being this morning. You want to tell him that he's worthy. You want to tell him that there is nothing that you are today without him. You want to tell him that you cannot achieve anything without God. Let him know that you love him. Let give him your love this morning. I want you to play, to pledge your allegiance to him this morning. I want you to tell him, God, I am pledging my allegiance to you again. I am saying, Lord, Lord, you are my father. I am saying, Lord, I will not look back. I am saying, Lord, in this month of August, that you are the owner of my life. You are the owner of my life. You are the pillar that holds my life. You are the pillar that holds my life. Can you tell him that this morning? Can you let him know that he's the pillar? Is the pillar of your marriage. Is the pillar of your life that you stand on him. Is the rock that you cannot sink on. Is the rock that you are standing on. Is the rock that you cannot sink on. Can you let him know that uh, I am standing on the rock, uh, even that is not shaking, uh, because it's unquestionable God. Uh, can you let him know that is the unquestionable, unquestionable God, uh, the one that no one can question. Uh, can you bless him this morning? Can you say, Lord, you are a good God. I can even just thank you enough. You are worthy of God. I give you glory this morning. Uh, the owner of my life, the one that clothes me with favor. Can you thank him? The one that is full of fire. The one that is surrendered, is surrounded by fire, is surrounded by light. Can you just bless him this morning? Oh, bless him, bless him, bless him, bless him. Oh, give him praise this morning. Worship him in the beauty of his holiness. Hallelujah. We give him praise. We give him glory. We give him honor. Adoration belongs to him. In the name of Jesus, we give him praise. Hosanna in the highest. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. We are going to be praying and for the next 20 minutes. Hallelujah. I want you to be intentional this morning. I call and I title this uh, every Monday prayer. I title it prophetic hour of prayer. And I want you every time you join me to be ready to pray. I want you to connect and I want you to say the next 30 minutes I am prophesying upon my week because I will be coming live every Monday morning like this to pray with you. And I want you to be ready every time because whatever you say with your mouth that is what will happen to you in the week. So that is why you are going to be praying with me every Monday at 1 a.m. here in America. Hallelujah. With the Bible verse today that we're going to be praying for 
is from the book of Psalm 29. If you have your Bible, please take it. We are going to be decreed this morning and we are going to be praying. I don't know where your situations are. I don't know what is it that you are dealing with. I don't know what is it that is telling you that you cannot go forward. But I have brought good news to you this morning that in this month of taking over, in this month that you are about to take over, you will move forward this month in the name of Jesus. I don't know the problem. I don't know the situation. I don't know the powers from your father's house. I don't know the curses uh, that have been following you. I don't know how many, we, how many places uh, that you have gone to and they're telling you there is no solution. Hear me, child of God, today. You are receiving your solution in the name of Jesus. I don't know what amen is in your body, but as you are watching me and as you are praying with me this morning, uh, there will be solution tonight. There will be solution this morning in the name of Jesus. This month of August uh, will not be like the past several months. Uh, you will enjoy God this month. Uh, you will see the power of God. Uh, you will touch God this month. Uh, you will receive Savior this way. In the name of Jesus, in this month, uh, I said, doors will be open unto you. Let's go together to the word of God. I love to pray the word of God. So go with me to Psalm. So the book of Psalm 29. Oh, this was the scripture that the Lord gave me for this month. And we're for this month, but we're praying it even this week. Hallelujah. The Bible says, Give unto the Lord. We have done that. He said, Give unto the Lord. Oh, ye mighty one. Listen to me. The Lord wants you to give unto him the best of the best this month of August. He said, Give unto the Lord the glory and strength. Ah, because it's the honor of the glory and the strength. Give unto the Lord glory that is due to his name no matter what is it in your life in this month make sure you return all the glory back to god make sure you give it back to god in the name of jesus christ he said worship the lord i don't know what you might be going through you must worship god you must worship god you must surrender to him no matter what the enemy is trying at you you must surrender all to god listen to verse three that is where we're going to be praying from it said the voice let me say to somebody there is a voice that is speaking into your life there's a voice that you cannot hear hallelujah that is where you see the major things that you are you are trying to achieve they are not achievable because there is a voice that is saying no to the yes in your life there is a voice that is speaking from the altar of your bloodline that is saying no she cannot get that he cannot get that that is not what is written there is a covenant that is speaking that you cannot hear child of god hear me this morning the bible knows there's a voice that is why i pray every time lord let your voice silence every voice that i cannot hear there's a voice that you cannot hear but they are speaking they are gathering every time and they say no you cannot do this you cannot move forward we call them foundational problem we call them foundational curses we call them foundational covenant and their voices that are still that are silent but they are working negatively against your life but the bible is saying to you this was david that he knew and understood there is a voice that is greater than the voice of his parent house that is greater than the voice of his foundation the bible says in verse 3 of, of psalm 29 he said the voice of the lord is over the waters. Hey, the God of glory thunders. When the Lord speaks, he thunders. The Lord does not speak quiet when he's, when he's ready to speak. I don't care the devil. I don't care the power. I don't care the witches. I don't care your sickness. I don't care those things in your life. There will be silence. The Bible said the God that we serve, when he speaks, he thunders. And the word the Lord is over. Many of those things that you are saying, the voice of the Lord is so powerful. Oh, the there is no way you will hear the voice of the Lord and you will remain the same. Your problems cannot hear the voice of the Lord and they will remain the same. The foundational problem that you have been dealing with will not hear the voice of the Lord and they will still 
be saying, who is that speaking? Because the voice is thunderous. The voice is powerful. No one in this world can withstand the voice of the Lord. You are going to pray with me this morning. Father, let your voice, let it thunder into my foundation. In the name of Jesus, it's the beginning of the month. But I want you to pray this so that you can have a safe journey in the month of August. We do this every Monday morning. But today is the beginning. You have to begin to lay the foundation. I want you to pray. Let your voice thunder. Let that verb, your voice, let it thunder into my life. Every sicknesses, every afflictions, every powers of darkness operating in my life. Hear the voice of the Lord this morning. I silence you this morning. In the name of Jesus, let the voice of my maker, let the voice of God that is powerful, let it voice, let it thunder into my foundation, let it thunder into my health, let it thunder into my body, let it thunder into my marriage, let the voice of the Lord thunder into the life of my children, in the name of Jesus Christ, the thunder of God must scatter this morning, in the name of Jesus, I said the boy, look at the left, keep reading, because I am short on time, he said, in verse 5, he said, the voice of the Lord breaks the cedar. You begin to pray. Oh God, this morning, let your voice break every stubborn situation in my life. Let your blood, oh God, let your voice, let it break them. In the name of Jesus, that stronghold, that's all word that the enemy has spoken. Let your voice, let it break them. Let it break them. In the name of Jesus, let the voice of my mercy. Let the voice of the owner of the earth, let the voice of God, let the thunder this morning, let it break them into pieces. In the name of Jesus, let the voice of God, let the voice of my maker, let it go into my marriage. Break every old, break every poverty, break every sickness, break everything that is ungodly in my life. In the name of Jesus, the voice of the Lord must speak into my life this morning. In the name of Jesus, I hope you are praying. I hope you are praying. I want you to tell God that Lord this morning let your voice, let your voice penetrate into my situation. Let your voice speak in the name of Jesus Christ. Can you pray it in the other way? That in this month, let your voice begin to speak, oh God, positively into my life. Let your voice speak. It was the voice of the angels that made me add, that changed our life forever. It was the voice of an angel which represent God that came into Anna. Can you begin to pray? Oh God, let your voice, let it speak to my life so that there will be breakthrough, so that I will see breakthrough. In the name of Jesus, let your voice, let your voice, oh God, let it speak, oh God, abundant into my life. In the name of Jesus, can you prophesy upon yourself uh, that in this month, uh, I enjoy prophecy, I enjoy prosperity, I enjoy the power of God, uh, I enjoy enlargement, uh, I am promoted. Uh, in this new month, uh, my life will not remain the same. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, as you are hearing the voice of the Lord, uh, it will teach you where to go, uh, it will move you forward. Uh, I want you to pray this day. Uh, I hope you are praying with me. Uh, I hope everyone is praying with me me. That's in the name of Jesus. That this month, in the name of Jesus, I am expanding to the north, to the south, to the east, to the west. I am increasing. The Lord is increasing my greatness. In this month of August, I am taking over territories. I am taking over in my family. I am taking over in my job place. I am taking over in my marketplace. I am taking over in the name of Jesus. Every power that have been subdued me. <laughs> I stand in the name of Jesus. I subdue them. In the name of Jesus, I subdue them this month. In the name of Jesus, Christ, I want you to pray for yourself. I want you to tell God that in this month, I take over. I take over. I take over. I take over. Begin to mention everything you are taking over. I am taking over. I am taking over. In the name of Jesus, in this month, I take over. I 
take over in the name of Jesus. No more will I be under. I come out of obscurity. I am a city that is set upon the hill. I can never be eaten in the name of Jesus. My ministry take over in the name of Jesus. I stand in the corridor of power in this month in the name of Jesus. Every project that I am working on, they become reality in the name of Jesus. They become reality in the name of Jesus. I hope you are prophesying of Upon yourself in the name of Jesus, prophesy, prophesy, pray, 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 pray that this month will be a different month. I will accomplish greater. I will do well this week in the name of Jesus. Begin to prophesy here into this new week every day. Every hour, every second, every minute in uh, this week, uh, I said in the name of Jesus, blessing is mine. In the name of Jesus, I receive blessing. I receive blessing. In the name of Jesus, I receive the blessing of God over my life, uh, over my situation. In the name of Jesus, I want you to pray that this week, uh, that heaven will open upon me. Begin to say that uh, my heavens are open. Uh, my heavens is open continually. In the name of Jesus, in in this new week, I dominate. I walk in promotion. In the name of Jesus, I am lifted. In this new month, I am lifted. In this new week, I am blessed. In the name of Jesus, there will be no crisis in my life, no affliction. In the name of Jesus, no affliction, no sicknesses, no weeping, no sorrow. In the name of Jesus, the Lord shall preserve me. My going out, my coming in in this month, in the name of Jesus, I will meet my helper of destiny. Let me tell you, we need helper of destiny. I want you to pray that in this new month, my helper of destiny, <laughs> oh, the Lord will locate me to them. They will locate me and will locate them. In the name of Jesus, from every day of this month, I walk in testimony. I walk in miracle. I am a wonder to many. In the name of Jesus Christ, my entire family <laughs> will see testimony in the name of Jesus, in this month, in this week, I will not lack. In the name of Jesus, the Lord is my shepherd. He will keep me, he will shepherd me. In the name of Jesus, I want you to pray. Psalm 91, over yourself today, that in the name of Jesus Christ, the Bible says, he that dwell in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Can you pray in the name of Jesus in this month? I and my family, we abide in the secret place of the Most High God. We will not be kidnapped. I will not be killed. In the name of Jesus, there will be no calamity. In the name of Jesus, in my household, in the name of Jesus, nothing evil will be recorded, even in my household. In the name of Jesus, only the shout of joy only the shout of lifting, only the shout of you have done well, only the shout of joy, laughter will be heard in my household, in this week, in this month, in the name of Jesus, it shall be well with me, in the name of Jesus, the Bible says, in the book of Job chapter 5, in verse 12, it says it destroyed the devices of the wicked that their hands cannot perform their enter can you pray this month can you pray for this week that the hands of the enemy will not perform even their enterprise concerning my life in the name of jesus whatever they plan will never happen to me whatever they put together i destroy it whatever they put for every one of you that have gone to bed and you are awake i want you to pray this prayer whatever was done to me when i was sleeping as i am awake this morning i stand to destroy them. I uproot all that have been planted into my life. In the name of Jesus, whatever incantation, divination that was chanted while I was sleeping, I stand this morning in the blood of Jesus. I immerse myself in the blood of Jesus. I scatter them. I destroy them. I say no to the yes of the enemy. In the name of Jesus, I destroy every word of the enemy. I cancel all that they are put together because the bible said they shall not stand neither will it come to pass everything that the enemy has said concerning me concerning my household will not come to pass in jesus mighty name we are prayed amen hallelujah thank you for praying with me today
Like I said, this is the first one. We're starting all over the ministry. We're starting. This is the first one that after a long time, join me here every Monday morning, same time for 30 minutes. Let's decree into our week. Let's tell God what we want God to do for us every time we gather together. Be ready to pray. Be ready to pray. It, it's just 30 minutes, 1 to 1.30 a.m. Here at Easter time. Maybe 6 or 5 a.m. wherever you are, but I know it's early morning, and that is what I was led to do so that I can lead the people to pray. And I want you to always look out for the invitation, look out for the notification, and, and let's pray together. And I know what you have said this morning, everyone has answered in the name of Jesus. You will walk in dominion, you will walk in prosperity, you will see the end of God upon your life. I don't know that one that is watching me, you have a job interview today, hear me as I hear God, as you go to that office, even for that interview, you are coming back with testimony in the name of Jesus. I say you are coming back with testimony, you might be a, a believing God, even for that project, you are so Submitted that proposal, but hear me today because the Lord told me it's a month of taking over. As you go to that office today, in the name of Jesus, you are coming back with testimony. You are going to be awarded even that project in the name of Jesus. Are you struggling in your business? Hear me today in the name of Jesus. This is your month to take over. This is your month to enjoy God. This is your month to be lifted. This is your month to be promoted. This is your month to receive good. This is your month to do good. This is your month for doors to open unto you in the name of Jesus. I said, this is your month in the name of Jesus. Your life will never remain the same in the name of Jesus. Continue to grow, continue to rejoice because the hand of the Lord is upon you. I bless the name of the Lord for you because you have joined me today. Join me again next week, Monday, same time on the same platform while we pray together. I know the word of God is new every morning. The Bible says, great is his faithfulness. And I believe that you have prayed with me this morning. And I believe that your life will never remain the same. In the name of Jesus, you are blessed. In the name of Jesus, you are blessed and you are highly favored. God bless you. And I see you again by the grace of God next week, Monday. Again, I remain yours, Pastor Yemi C. Dumoye on this same altar, on this same place. God bless you. See you next week. Have a fun filled week in Jesus' name. Amen. Bye for now, everyone. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. My faith, TV network.